God bless you. My name is Dave. My message today to you is titled Deliverance, How to Be Free from Sin. Let's first talk about how the Bible explains the action and experience of Jesus Christ. Jesus has already delivered us from sin. Did you know that? All we have to do is accept it and know it to be true. This is called faith. And for this, we give abundant thanks and worship to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's go to and also read Romans chapter 6, verse 6. So again, this is Romans chapter 6, verse 6. And the scripture says, Our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. And again, that was Romans chapter 6, verse 6. You see, your old self was crucified with Christ. It is gone. This is part of a transformation you have to follow with Christ that Jesus taught us. Metaphorically, the person you were before was nailed with him to a rugged cross. Once again, all we have to do is accept it and know it to be true. If your walk with Christ is solid, you can be very sure that you are inseparable bound to Christ. You know it not because of your feelings or emotions, but because God says it in his word. It's in the Bible. Make up your mind never to forget the truth of salvation. Work more to consciously live in the certainty that your old life was nailed to the cross with Christ. Let your old ways die. Think of it this way. When Jesus died, you died of your old ways given a strong walk with Christ. In 2nd of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, 2nd of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 the scripture says therefore if anyone is in Christ the new the new creation has come the old has gone the new is here and that's in 2nd of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 that I will read again and the scripture says therefore if anyone is in Christ the new creation has come the old has gone, the new is here. And again, that was in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. That former life of yours has no hold on you. You are no longer enslaved by that old person you used to be. You used to be a prisoner of yourself, and now you are set free. Sin is no longer your master, and your body is not an instrument of sin anymore. It's up to you to make that choice. Thank you, Jesus, for this freedom. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 3, the scripture says, For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. And that's Colossians chapter 3, verse 3. Now you live in Jesus and through Jesus you are united with God. You no longer strive to get closer to God because you are united with his son, Jesus. It's no longer an effort. It is so easy. All you have to do is walk with the Lord, pray, give thanks. In Romans chapter 6, verse 10 through 11, Romans chapter 6, verse 10 through 11, the scripture says, he died once, just once, to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So also should consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. And again, I was reading from Romans chapter 6, verse 10 through 11. The cross is seen as the saving act of Christ. But even more than this, it is seen as the final place of reconciliation between God and humanity. And that's my message on deliverance, how to be free from sin. 
Thank you for watching on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. My name is Dave.